Hey everybody. So I've got something pretty cool to show you today, the new LA Colors Halloween collection. Now as I'm filming this, it's my birthday. Do 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 do. They say it's your birthday. Um I don't feel like I look my best today because my husband took the day off from work yesterday and we went shopping and went out to eat and had a wonderful time because we're actually getting like the outskirts of a tropical storm today and tomorrow. So we knew the weather was going to be bad. So he took the day off from work and we went out and had fun yesterday. And uh, I'm actually in the middle of cooking my birthday dinner right now. Uh, my favorite thing in the world is swordfish. So I bought some swordfish and we're going to have swordfish and asparagus and rice. So I'm cooking the rice, which takes 45 minutes, so I figured I would have time to squeeze this video in here while I was waiting for the rice to cook. And I'm also doing laundry, so I'm waiting for that to finish. But anyways, um, this video is going to be uploaded tomorrow, so you'll see it the day after my birthday, provided everything goes okay right now. So one of the places we went, we went to a bunch of Walmarts because I still hadn't found all the collections I was looking for. And I really wanted the L.A. Colors Halloween collection, and I found it. it. It took a few Walmarts, but I found it. Everything in this collection is $1.98, which is, of course, an amazing price. But um, So there are two eyeshadow palettes, Witches, Witches and Devious. Look at that. Look at that green. It's going to coordinate so nicely with my new sweater that I showed you in a recent video. And then there were two lip kits. There was a red, which is kind of like a brick red, and there's a black. Now, something you should know about these mini lip liners that come in kits by LA Colors is this is like maybe the best formula of lip liner. Their full-size ones are okay, but these mini ones, something about them, I don't know. They, I just love the formula on them, but the other one is a black, so yeah, we have to use that. And then they had a bunch of holographic iridescent lip glosses, and I got the one called Irre, Irresistible, I think it's called. I'll put the, the name in the description box. Um, but this is so pretty and they actually had a few of these and I I should have I didn't know it was going to be so pretty so I should have got one of each color that they had I think they had like five shades maybe but I've been buying a lot of makeup lately um so I didn't want to go crazy so I figured I didn't really expect it to be that good but I swatched it over a lipstick swatch and it was so pretty so I'm gonna use that in my look so I already have a bunch of face products on so I'm gonna start by priming my eyes off camera with my profusion pigment based eyeshadow primer and all the products that I already have on will be in the description box like you know I always list everything so let me do this and come right back Okay, so between the two, the one that I, of course, want to use is which is the one with the green. And this is very hard to open. I actually have to pry it open with a nail file. Um, the packaging is very tight where it closes. So I'm going to start by going into that green with a small crease brush. But how pretty is that, and how well does that coordinate with my new sweater? So, yeah, we went to a bunch of Walmarts, and I got some some more clothes. I got, like, a couple of winter hats, like beanies. I got a lilac one, and I got one that was, like, um, let's see, the black or gray. So I got a practical color and a not-so-practical color. And then I got some, uh, actually, I haven't even shown you one of the other shirts that I got recently from Walmart. Uh, the shirt that, the shirt that I had on in yesterday's video. 
was was new. I bought that same shirt again except like in bubblegum pink and then I found some leggings that were almost the same color but they're more like lounge wear type thing. I wouldn't wear those outside the house. They're, they look like pajama bottoms but they're leggings and um, I got another sweater which you'll see in an upcoming video. I um I bought some new jeans recently too. So I'm going to probably do another one of those videos where I model the clothes because you never get to see what I have on the bottom if I have on pants or a skirt or jeans or whatever. So I'll probably do another one of those videos where I model the clothes. And then um one of the Walmarts that we went to had Lottie London, so I got a backup of the super fake false lash effect mascara because I love that. And I got a nail polish and didn't find too much for makeup other than this collection. Um, trying to think what else I got. Yeah, I just at that first Walmart we went to, I just got the nail polish, the mascara. I had one other thing in the basket. What was it? Can't remember. At another Walmart that we went to, I bought I bought this. It's um stuff you spray in your hair to make it a color and this is bright pink. It's uh, Fright Night colored hair spray. So it's going to be raining nonstop like for the next three days. So when we have a nice day and I can go outside and not get this all over everything, I'm going to strategically spray part of my hair with this. Now I know it does stain. So it's going to take like a few shampoos to get it out. So instead of doing like all my hair with this, um, I'm just going to do like maybe the ends. I, th I think I'm going to put my hair in a big giant ponytail and then hold the ponytail away from me and just spray the end of the ponytail so that just the tips are bright pink because I, I don't want all my hair to be pink. But I just thought that would be fun. But yeah, it probably will stain my hair pretty bad because um, my hair is such a light shade of blonde that um, I know it's going to be there for a while but that's okay it's just something fun I've never dyed my hair a color before and I always kind of wanted to try that but I was afraid that I would regret it or not like it so that was an easy way to do it because that way I could just do you know part of it All right, so I'm trying to think of what that, I think I did get one more makeup item and I cannot remember what it was. You know what, I wrote down everything that I bought on a piece of paper, so let me just check my paper. So yeah, I got a, another package of the lashes that I like by LA Colors, the Diva Lashes. And um, so we went to a mall, too. And at the mall, I got a necklace at Forever 21. I got a belt at H&M, which my husband just had to punch another hole in it for me because I bought the size that I've always bought for belts. And now I've lost so much weight that it was too big. And it's such a unique looking belt. Um, I'll, show, I'll show that to you when I do my clothing video. Oh, I know what the other makeup item was that I bought. Um, it, I bought another one of the hard candy eyeliners. I got the purple one because I really don't like any of the purple eyeliners that I have. So, yeah, I've got the the purple one now from that because uh, their, their eyeliners are really good. And um, let's see, what else did I get? Oh, the only other thing I got was 
at the mall we went to, it was like an outlet mall. So they had a cosmetic company store. And if you don't know what that is, they have like all the, um, the company that owns Mac, the brand that owns Mac. Yeah, the company that owns Mac. Um, I bought three single Mac eyeshadows. And I'll, I'll show those in another video. Um, but you, you get 40% off the original price. So it's been a long, long time since I had any Mac eyeshadows other than my Painterly Paint Pot. Okay, this shade right here is like a light, light copper or a peach. So I'm just going to use the shader brush. And I don't know if I said this when I first started talking, but I have a package, I'm supposed to have a package coming in the mail today. It was something I ordered online. I think my husband went a little overboard this year letting me buy things for my birthday because I think he's just so happy I'm alive after what happened. If you're new, um, I had a stroke a few months ago and uh, I'm so lucky that I don't seem to have any physical, permanent physical damage. I do sometimes get a little confused and say like the wrong word or I can't remember something but it isn't anything like that's that uh, that bad it's more of an inconvenience than anything I have to write stuff down so I don't forget but um yeah I had I had a blast yesterday made my poor husband drive me all over the place. But we went to um, California Pizza Kitchen for dinner, and I got the Thai Crunch Salad, which used to always be my favorite. But that raw cabbage just did a job on me, so I was awake, like, all night with a terrible stomach ache. So I just am not used to eating stuff like that anymore. I do eat raw vegetables on the regular, but not cabbage. Cabbage is probably one of the hardest things to digest. But I had a lot of fun yesterday. And yeah, wait until you see what I ordered online. Something like different for me because it's an indie brand. Now, I love indie makeup, and most of the people I watch on YouTube, that's all they show is indie makeup, but I normally don't buy that because I try to be careful how much money I spend on makeup, and indie makeup is usually very expensive, so. All right, um, this, this, it's like a tan shade. I'm going to put some of that in the outer part of my eye here. Try to deepen this up just in the outer corner. Not really crazy about this um, color combination. So first, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the small shader brush and I'm going to use that gold. And do my brow bone with it. I do love this green, but I think I should have done something different with it. And inner corner with the gold. Okay, this might make things look worse, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try going into the black. 
and I'm going to take a blending brush and go right into the outer part of this look because I don't know it just doesn't doesn't look right to me like I said the the peach and the green should have gone together but yeah we're just going to deepen this up and blend that black into the outside part and fade it in a bit See if we can pull this together. I know it just looks like a big mess to me. I, I don't like the way this is coming out at all. How can we fix this? Yeah, using the green in the crease was a huge mistake. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. I think the problem is the peach on the lids is the problem. So let's take a look at the other palette, the Devious palette and see if there's something we can put on the lids that will coordinate better. Like this, it's like a, oh geez, how would you describe that? Like maybe a salmon, like a bright salmon? Yeah, let's try that. Um, okay, I'm going to use that brush that I used with the brown. Let's go into that salmon shade and we're going to layer that right over the peach and see if that coordinates better. I think it does. Yep, I think it does. I think it looks better, which doesn't make sense because it's like the same color family, but I don't know. I think that looks better. I really didn't want to start all over again. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to need another brush to blend out the edges of this black. Hmm. And I'm going to go back to my big fluffy blending brush. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Let's see, what else could we do here? I'm just going to go crazy and use some of this orange with the brush that I used the salmon with. And I'm going to put that like in the middle between the salmon and the black. Right in the center.
All right, so I'm going to need an eyeliner. Now let's not do anything crazy. Let's just take a uh, black. All right, where is, there it is, hard candy. The eyes are so great. I, I have a feeling once I've got mascara on, this is going to look better. Oh, that, that went on nicely. Thank you, eyes, for not watering like crazy today. Okay, small pencil brush. Now what are we going to do under the eyes for color? Um, hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to... I think I want to do one of these orange shades in the Devious palette. I think that the the brighter one is really pretty. All right, that's kind of pulling it all together. Well, at least you're getting to see a lot of the different colors in these palettes and how they look and how they apply. All right, that blended rather nicely. Okay. I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara off camera and be right back to do the lips. Okay, so the other reason why the eye look looked funny is because I hadn't done my brows yet. And I just finished my hard candy brow pencil. I don't know if I have a backup on this or not. You know what? If I don't, I have so many other brow products that I should try to use up. So I was just afraid I was going to get like one brow done and then not have enough left of the pencil to do the other brow. Because, you know, all brow products are not created equal in terms of color and tone and all that, but I had just enough to do both brows. Okay, so while you were gone, I actually had my birthday dinner. The swordfish, the rice, the asparagus, it all came out good. So I'm multitasking here. Okay, now I know that you guys want to see that black lipstick just to see what it looks like, right? So we're going to take the black lip pencil and line my lips. What I'll probably do is do the black, put the lip gloss on top, and then take it off and actually wear the red one. Because today is not Halloween. <laughs> so I'm not leaving the house with black lipstick. Yeah, their lip pencils, just great formula. But the lipstick, I don't know. We'll see. That yeah, seems to be applying fine. Hmm, it's got like a slight scent to it. It's not an unpleasant scent.
Wow. Okay, so you can layer this and make it like as black as you want it to be. That actually worked really well. I mean, like I said, these things are all $1.98, so that's that's good. Now, this is this is so pretty, but let's see what it looks like over it. Now, if I take this applicator out and put it on over the black lipstick, the applicator is going to get all black. And so we don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set the applicator aside. And I'm going to stick a Q-tip in here and use a Q-tip as an applicator. Oh, I don't think this is going to fit. No, I can't get it in there. Darn it. Huh. Oh, I forced it in there. I got it. I got it. Yeah, let's see what this looks like over the black lipstick. Do they sell disposable lip gloss applicators at places like Sally Beauty Supply or anything? Does anybody know? Because the Q-tip is falling apart. Okay, you can't see it on camera, but it's a um, very finely milled glitter. Not chunky, though. You can't feel it on your lips. But it seems to have a bit of a greenish hue to it. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not leaving the house with black lipstick. So... There we go. Can you see the, the lip gloss now? I'm going to wipe this off. That lipstick is not drying, which is kind of surprising. I'm going to put a little bit of my Wet and Wild Lip Treatment. And that's going to take off the rest of that black. Okay. <laughs> I do have a tiny bit of it left, but not a big deal. All right, let's try the red one. So yeah, this is like a brick red. And let's see if the formula on this is the same as the black one. It smells like cookies. That's new for LA Colors. I've got a bit of an ombre effect here because the very inside of my lips is still just a tiny bit black. That's okay. All right, so that's what the red one looks like. Yeah, that's much more wearable. But the black one is fun. All right, now, I think I am going to mess up the applicator here because now it's going to get all red, but that Q-tip thing didn't work out too well. 
Yeah, I want to see what this looks like over the red. Oh, this lip gloss is so pretty. I should have got all the other colors. What was I thinking? They're only $1.98 a piece. All right, maybe just a tiny bit more. Yeah, that's really pretty. Okay, so that is it, you guys. That is the LA Colors Halloween collection. And I know this eye look is pretty crazy, but hey, like I said, at least you got a chance to see how a lot of the different shades applied. I just kept layering more and more and more on. So fun, right? Bye. Thanks for watching.